Anthony. Now, somewhere. was Ross going to be here? Do you remember? Uh, he said he was. Here to spot at um, the new Lions Park facility. Okay. So what Every we're going to do. Veteran mental health is a top priority in our country. Montana is one of the highest amounts of veterans per capita. And one group is trying to solve some of the issues that we might have in a very unique way. Scuba. I am a veteran. I was in the Army for about five years, did two tours to Iraq, and um, I was introduced to this by my wife who wanted to help find, me some, find something for me to do to help with my PTSD. While the organization started in Kalispell, a new chapter of the Underwater Soldiers nonprofit has recently begun operations in Great Falls and aims to curb veteran mental health issues. It's basically water therapy through camaraderie. I grew up in a household uh, with a father that had PTSD. So I wanted to find something especially for PTSD veterans where I could give back. While traditional therapy methods can certainly be effective, alternative resources such as therapy diving have shown to be a viable option. It's, well, it's peaceful. And that's just something not a lot of veterans get. It's, if, if it's not like the outside world messing with us, it's our heads. So down there, the only thing you think about is the water and breathing, that's about it. According to the Department of Veteran Affairs, the Montana veteran suicide rate of 37.4 per 100,000 deaths is more than double the national average of just 18. For emergency concerns over suicide, you should dial 988. But if you feel that water therapy may be a good option for you, then veterans can search for Underwater Soldiers on Facebook. We have a lot of programs in place to take care of us, but we don't take advantage of a lot of those programs. So, and I think for the most part because they're government run. Something like this where you just get like another veteran coming in and doing this strictly to help us out. He doesn't get paid for this. So, I mean, strictly just to help us out. I feel like that, that's the kind of community we need to build in Montana. People really are interested in this program and I think it's gonna help a lot of people. Great Falls, I'm James Rowan, MTN News.